How to solder a cup terminal. Cup terminals are interesting because you don't need to crimp the wires in place. The solder is what holds the wires in the terminal. To make this termination, you will need solder with a flux core, a soldering iron, and heat shrink. The best soldering head for this task is a chisel tip. First thing you need to do is strip the wire. Then twist the wires to make sure no loose strands are sticking out. Measure the correct length by placing it in the cup terminal. You don't want extra wires sticking out of the terminations. If the wires are too long, trim off the excess wire. The next step is to tin the wire. Apply a bit of solder to the tip of your soldering iron. Touch the iron to the wire till you can melt solder directly to the wire. Once you have tinned the wire, move on to the cup joint. Touch the iron to the back side of the cup joint and fill the cup with solder. Finding the right amount of solder takes practice. Make sure you haven't burnt away all the flux. Once you have solder in the cup terminal, apply more heat to remelt the solder. Insert the tinned wire into the cup and hold in place. I have included examples of what too much and not enough solder looks like in the cup terminal. Lastly, it's a good idea to take some heat shrink and put it around the termination. You can use a heat gun, a lighter, or soldering iron to set the heat shrink. 